Great. There you go. Oh, it says um by continuing to be in the meeting, you are consent. Oh, oh, okay, all right, okay. I, I want to make sure I wasn't recording. But I, I don't. Okay. Okay. So we're going to be working with centering and balancing, and so let's recognize that aspect of our own energy anatomy, which is the central column, this line of energy that runs vertically from above the head down, right down through the very center of the top of the head. And it, and it sometimes is helpful to just picture it, like imagine it. Gradually, you just begin to feel it. By thinking of it, you become aware of it right down through the center of the top of the head, right down through the center of the head itself and neck and upper torso, the chest area. So it's in a line that's in front of the spine, behind the sternum, centered, going down, down through the solar plexus, down through the belly, pelvic area, legs, and it just follows the way the body is sitting. It goes right between the legs, down from the knees, down the, between the calves and between the feet, and all the way down below the feet. So it's an axis, like the Earth's axis, that is at the this vertical way of centering and balancing the energy field. And your energy field is much larger than your physical body. Physical body, you could say, is in the middle of it. And it radi it's an energy emanation that um, goes out quite a few feet beyond the surface of your body in all directions. So, so the energy axis, the central vertical axis, if we just are quiet and allow our attention to focus with that, this, this line of energy running right vertically through the body from above the head, below the feet, it gives you kind of like a balancing pole, you could say. Balancing left and right. So you're, you're sort of at the center of the polarity of the left side and the right side of your body and the energy field that goes around your body. If you just breathe and relax and feel or sense or just think of this line, it helps bring you to balance, it helps bring you to center. And you can also recognize that this line centers the front and the back. It balances all the energy in the front from the middle of your body to the front and all the energy in the back and behind you, behind your body that is in, can be in balance or it can be out of balance. And if you feel a little bit lopsided in a way, if you feel a little bit like you're more weight on one side than the other, then just see that you can, by choice, bring a little bit of attention to one side or the other and, and balance it out more. Same with the front and the back. Balance in front and back. 
And if you move your body just a little bit off the center, it doesn't have to be very much to the left and to the right and to the front and to the back, like a little pendulum. Um, it also helps find this balancing energy line. It, it starts it starts like a line, like a laser line. And then as we think of it, as we focus our attention with it, that is, you become more aware of it as like a column of energy. It has some depth to it, it has some um, roundness and space inside it, almost like a like a pole, but only not solid like a pole. And anywhere along the length of your body, from the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet, you can, by paying attention, you can begin to feel the reality of this line, this axis that's, that centers and balances your body and your energy field. And just gradually the thinking mind slows down a little bit, quiets a little bit, even though it's still present, still there, here. Gradually, you return again and again to your breath and to where we're focusing our attention on this axis, this um, energy line, this uh, almost feels like a, a tree sometimes, like a really vertical tree that runs all the way through the center of your body vertically. And that saying that helps or thinking that helps recognize that it's, it's a kind of organic. It's not something rigid like a steel pole or metal or, or a wooden pole even. It's, it's, a, it's a flowing energy system. And you can find great peace by centering with it. And, recognizing that you can come back into balance when you get pulled off. When we get pulled off, we're pulled off to the right, we're pulled off to the left, we're pulled forward, we're pulled back. Whatever that means, it, it can feel very literal. And we're pulled away, pulled to the side, pulled back, pulled ahead. And you just bring yourself back to the center line. If you feel like you're drifting or if you feel like your thinking mind is very active or if you feel like you're drifting to sleep, just take a few deep breaths, deep full breaths. That'll help you have a focus on the experience. As I said, you can center anywhere along this line. So one place that we can bring ourselves to a more a deep center 
is right in the middle of our head, right in the middle of the head. We can find that central column, that axis, the tree, that line. And right along the, the length of it within the head, there's a point that is like a point of light. It's like a, a spark uh, that by touching into it with your mind or touching into it with your intention or thought, you become aware of a light. Now, you know, there's the idea that a light bulb goes off in, in one's head. You have an idea. This is kind of the light bulb or light source that illuminates, gives us illuminated thinking, illuminated knowing, that doesn't have the worry mind, doesn't have the stress mind doesn't have the confusing chatter mind. It's just doesn't even sometimes feel like it's thoughts at all. It's just kind of energy, knowing, glowing, radiating, streaming from a center that helps clear the head. And you sort of locate yourself there Breathe into that and out from it. And just be with that for a little bit in silence. If you drift off, just remember that what we're doing, we're focusing with our breath and with the point of light right on the central column in the middle of the head. And then letting that light radiate out through the head and beyond the head. Be aware we're, we're doing this at the same time, each of us. And that can allow us to feel that we're supporting each other and amplifying, amplifying the experience for each other. You can even feel deeply inside your head. Of course, there's your brain, physical organ that's surrounded, that's made up of nerves and nerve complexes. And surrounded by tissue, and liquids, and then there's the skull, the bone structure of the head, and then the musculature and all that surrounds that. And then right beyond the skin, beyond the surface of the body, there's also energy that's part of you. And so as this light from within the head expands, it grows and glows beyond the surface of the head. You can feel like your head is expanding. But it's not like it's feeling like it's pressure to stretch. It's like you're expanding the awareness of this area of your body mind. Beyond just the material 
Uh-huh. And if there's any discomfort, any pain, any tension in or around your head, your face, bring awareness to that in a way that's gentle, in a way that helps you to relax, helps it to just be open, not to fight it, not to put pressure on anything, to change. Just to accept it the way it is. And accept how this deep, healing spiritual energy from within you is helping whatever it is, whatever condition is there, become a little more clear, a little more conscious, a little more energized. So once again, just center your awareness and your attention to the central column, this line that runs vertically down through your head. And then move down that column. You could almost imagine you're riding in an elevator, going down through the elevator shaft which takes you down through your neck and throat, right into the middle of your chest, about the level of your heart. Again, the central column, this line of energy is located in front of your spine a bit and behind the sternum, right in the middle. And so you have, again, this moment of finding the center of this chamber of your system, the heart chamber. We have the head chamber, and now we're centering, balancing in the heart chamber, where again, there's a point of light, a point of uh, energy from source, energy of your divine nature, of your soul, right in the middle of your chest, behind the sternum, heart center. And as you do this, you can become more aware that, that you're here. You're here in this location. Of course, it makes sense. You're, of course, at least through all of your body, it's you, but where we locate the sense of the self is, can vary. Most people habitually locate the sense of themselves in their head. It's common. But by intention and with practice, you can locate the sense of yourself when you choose to in the middle of your heart center, the heart chamber. And just allow that you're drifting, floating, being moved by your own intention into that middle area of your chest and right along in that central column, opening to that light that's there and letting that light then expand throughout your upper torso, especially, and then out beyond it. So of course it goes out through your spine in the back and shoulder blades, goes out through the front area and the breasts and the chest, goes out on either side through your arms. Again, if you're struggling to stay with me, just come back to your breath. Listen, 
but focused in the middle of the chest, letting this light source that's there fill that space and radiate through that space. So it's really literally bringing light to your heart, bringing light to your lungs, bringing light to the, all the areas of this part of your body and beyond. Again, we're all doing this at the same time, amplifying, supporting each other, opening to our own true nature here in the heart. And opening to our true nature as the higher self or the soul or the spirit within you and all around you. So I'll just be quiet for a little bit and let you experience your own heart. Explore, open to an awareness. Center again. Here, this time we're centering our attention in the heart center for a moment. And then we're going to move down again, just like this column of energy. You can just move down it, feel yourself going down, down through the solar plexus area and into the middle of your belly. And here you have another area, another region of you, of your mind, of your consciousness, energy, that includes the whole belly, lower back, pelvic area. And once again, right in this part of you, there's a bead of light or a spark of light a little flame that by going towards it, letting your sense of yourself go down in this area, you begin to bring more attention, more awareness, the light gets stronger. It radiates through this area of your body and out beyond the surface of your body. Especially, I've found that if there's, there's any kind of low back pain or problems with digestion, working in this area that is bringing light and awareness to this area and breath really helps make a difference, helps clear and cleanse and awaken this part of you. It's a very important part of you, just as the head and the heart are. Nice deep breaths allow you to have more focus. You can feel that breath. When you take a deep breath, you can feel the breath. You can feel your body. And wherever you aim to be in your body, you can feel that place.
And then we're all working together, supporting and amplifying for each other in awakening this part of ourselves to the divine light. And the legs can relax, the feet can relax, the whole body can relax. And then just leaving this sensitivity to this part of your body and this, the light that's in this part of your body, expand to include also your heart area and that what I spoke of before, the chamber of the heart in the upper torso. And then expand to include your head. And all three of these areas at once. From the, above the top of your head, all the way down past the pelvic area and, and outward so that it's not just contained by the, where, where your skin is. It's energy out beyond that surface and you can feel that too. And just breathe and let that, all of that breathe and open and relax. And of course, you know, you have arms and hands and legs and feet. So allow your attention to be aware of that, your arms and legs hands and feet. And just be aware of your whole body, breathing and opening to the inner light of spirit, of your true nature, of your soul, of your higher self, of the God child that you are. So once again, thank you for coming and meditating with me, meditating together. Blessings to you. Have a really good week. Good to see you.